Hi, it's Danielle here from the Teaching Entrepreneur Association. And in this video, I wanted to talk to you about the difference that there is between teaching adults and teaching children. And I've taught both, mainly adults though, I have to say, in my career. I've come up with three things that I think puts the difference between children and adults. And sometimes why it's a little bit more difficult to change from teaching children to teaching adults. So my first is that adults are self-motivated. They really are. I mean, they come to your class for a reason. They are there because they want to learn whatever it is that you have to teach them. It almost comes back to the um, Maslow's hierarchy of needs in, in terms of want and need. Um, that, you know, they want something, so they need to do something else in order to get that want. Um, so they need to come come to your class to learn whatever it is that, it, that um, you're teaching so that it, it fulfills something that perhaps they're doing at work or to enhance their career or their social life. You know, some people come to us to, to for, for social reasons. Other people come to learn new things. So the biggest key to that is that students are in the adult world more self-motivated they come because they want to be there which is unlike children i mean i can remember my son he'd been at school for i think three days so he was in um, reception class and uh, or kindergarten um, and we were walking home from school and he said to me mum i've got something to tell you and i think oh what's that so, and he said, I'm quitting school. Those were his exact words. I'll never forget it. I'm quitting school. I've done enough now. I've been there three days. I didn't have the heart to tell him, you know, he's like four years old and got to go till he was 18 and beyond. But anyway, um, children go day after day after day and they get fed up with it, they don't enjoy it or whatever it might be. And they're not motivated to actually go and, and learn. So that's my first tip. My second one is, um, or my second point that I wanted to make was that with um, adults, they want to know why. Why am I learning what I'm learning? Why are you teaching me in the way you're teaching me? What will, what will I achieve by doing this? So children just accept that they have to learn it. You know, you, you go in and teach them something and they accept that they have to learn it. Adults don't. They, they you know, why am I learning this? What, what is it that you're, you're teaching me? It goes back to context. They like to know the context of which uh, of what they're learning and what it will enable them to do. One of the things I do is that I um, outline what they're going to learn. Um, I tell them it's not set in stone because it may be that we'll spend longer on one thing or it may be that students aren't interested in doing something else. But I give them a general outline and I explain to them why we do each one of those, how that fits into the overall course. It actually sort of sets expectations. Um, I had a couple of ladies, uh, elderly ladies who came to my class, it was an IT class, and um, they, it was all beginners. And they came and said, right, okay, I've seen what you're going to teach me, thanks for the outline, but it doesn't say that we're going to learn eBay. Because actually, that's the only thing that we want to learn. Because we are buying things at car boot sales and selling them online on eBay to supplement our pensions. So that's why they come along. So it meant that I could either add the eBay into my teaching, or I could send them somewhere else that did the eBay. I should put it in, but there we go. It's all about why we're teaching what we're teaching and whether that will help them to reach whatever learning goals that they've got. So for example, with these two ladies, they didn't know anything about computers. So it meant me starting them right back from the from the beginning of let's switch the computer on. Let's, you know, then eventually we got to the stage where they could type in and they understood that bit and taking photos and uploading them, all that kind of thing. So it just gave context to why they were doing what they were doing. The third thing is that adults come along with so much experience. You know, they've lived lives, you know, they know so much. The most important thing is to find out about your students because what will happen is you will be able to use their experiences and their 
knowledge and their skills in what you're teaching. It's about finding out so much about them because that knowledge and that skill, that experience is so valuable to share with the rest of the class and for you to take in yourself. Um, and as far as children go, obviously children don't have that worldly experience. They haven't been around that long to be able to, to experience the things that, you know, people in their 60s and 70s have. So I think that is so valuable. So there are just three ways um, of sharing with you the difference between teaching children and teaching adults. Here at Tea, we're always creating new how-to guides, new top tips, tutorials, checklists, worksheets, templates, and so much more. The reason we do this is to help you learn and progress further and to really nail what I've been talking about. Don't forget, click on the link below to receive yours and to take this topic to the next level. Hope it's been useful. As always, there is a download to this. So uh, just click on the button below and uh, or the link below and I'll send it to you. Okay, until next time.